Well, hey there, friends. Welcome back to Original Minifig. I have a Q&A video today, and I wanted to make this because, you know, sometimes people are thinking things, but they're not asking. Or sometimes people are uh, thinking things, but they don't want to have a negative comment, or they want don't want to say anything negative, uh, so they don't say anything about it. Uh, but I'm going to address one of those questions, and I know you're interested because it has to do with the height of my Empire State Building once it's completed. Now, sometimes when I look at my YouTube analytics, uh, I like to see where the, the traffic is coming from, and I think a lot of us do that. Um, now, I noticed that on a certain day, there was a lot of traffic from one website that I hadn't heard of. It is called whirlpool.net.au, so it's an Australian uh, website. Um, now, on this website, there was a Lego forum, so I just kind of scrolled through, and I found a little post about my building, uh, and a link to my, um, my YouTube video. So, uh, the post was actually very nice, but, uh, the question was, uh, concerning, or, or the people talking about it were concerned about one thing, and that is a 10 meter, uh, a 30 feet structure in Lego, like this size right here. Uh, once you reach to 10 meter height, 30 feet, will it be, will it be able to support itself? Um, will it be able to stand without uh, a non-Lego internal structure? That is a great question and I know you all want to know, um, and that is uh, something I'm going to address today. So we're going to do a little bit of math here. So kids, uh, pay attention in math because you may need it for this one day. Uh, okay, so first of all, now this is my Empire State Building, right? This is how it's going to look like, right? Okay. There's a lot of weight up here, a lot of weight coming down through the building and into the uh, uh, the base right here. Now the thing is, this wall right here will not support this. This wall will stand alone. This part right here will have support going straight into through the 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 uh, the, uh, uh, the bottom portion here and into the ground. And also this part right here will also have uh, support going straight through. So this wall right here will not support this wall. And the same with the tower here. It will have support going straight through the building and into the ground. So all the weight will be pushed straight down into the ground. It will not be supported by any of these lower... Uh, exterior walls so and 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 of course inside of here again there will be braces connecting it uh, all of it to, to you know so it doesn't get wobbly so the only part this stretch right here is the only part that will kind of be standing without a lot of support from the outside uh, but it will have some support on the inside as there will be offices along the whole internal part. So there will be internal structure even in this tower right here. Now, okay, according to Lego, one two by two brick, just a regular two by two Lego brick, uh, can withstand 4,240 Newtons. That is a stack of 375,000 bricks on top of each other before the bottom brick collapses. Okay. Uh, 375,000 bricks in one brick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to measure it right now. I know how tall it is, but I'm going to measure it here with my little yardstick. Uh, it is approximately one centimeter. Uh, it's, it's more like 9.9 .9 millimeters, actually. 
I'm gonna do metric here because I'm in Europe and it's easier for me to do so. I don't have any, uh, I don't have any inches or or anything like that. But one, so one centimeter, and we're gonna do three hundred and seventy-five thousand centimeters on top of each other. That's three thousand seven hundred and fifty meters high. That's a thousand feet. Okay. That is what you can build on top of a single 2x2 two two brick before it collapses. So it can take a lot of weight. Now in this building, um, it's not just one 2x2 two two brick. The weight is distributed around, uh, around the whole base to, uh, to hold all the weight up. So that is not going to be an issue. The Empire State Building has eight bricks per floor. So one floor is eight centimeters tall. Okay. If we do 85 floors or actually more like a hundred floors, we do a hundred floors, we're going to get to 800 centimeters. So that'll be eight meters. Now that is without the subway underneath and that is without the antenna that comes on top like this one. So with this it's going to be more like 10 meters or 30 feet. So I don't think it's going to be an issue. I think once we get to that point if it does become an issue there will be internal bracing internal non lego bracing but i don't think it's going to be an issue i think it's going to be stable i think it's going to be able to hold its own weight um lego is heavy i know that but i think it's going to be possible i don't know what do you think i'm going to throw the question right back at you what do you think and be honest and write your comments down below is the empire state building so this one right here once it reaches 10 meters, 30 feet, is it going to be able to hold its own weight without some kind of non-Lego internal structure? Good question, right? Leave your comments below. Thank you for watching. Play well.